Silicon dioxide, also known as silica, silicic acid or silicic acid enhydride is an oxide of silicon with the chemical formula silicon oxide, most commonly found in nature as quartz and in various living organisms. In many parts of the world, silica is the major constituent of sand. Silica is one of the most complex and most abundant families of materials, existing as a compound of several minerals and as synthetic product. Notable examples include fused quartz, fumed silica, silica gel, and aerogels. It is used in structural materials, microelectronics, as an electrical insulator, and as components in the food and pharmaceutical industries. Inhaling finely divided crystalline silica is toxic and can lead to severe inflammation of the lung tissue, silicosis, bronchitis, lung cancer, and systemic autoimmune diseases, such as lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Uptake of amorphous silicon dioxide, in high doses, leads to non-permanent short-term inflammation, where all effects heal. Structure in the majority of silicates, the silicon atom shows tetrahedral coordination, with four oxygen atoms surrounding a central C atom. The most common example is seen in the quartz polymorphs. For example, in the unit cell of alpha quartz, the central tetrahedron shares all four of its corner O atoms, the two face-centered tetrahedra share two of their corner O atoms, and the four edge-centered tetrahedra share just one of their O atoms with other silicon oxide tetrahedra. This leaves a net average of 12 out of 24 total vertices for that portion of the seven silicon oxide tetrahedra that are considered to be a part of the unit cell for silica C3D unit cell. Silicon oxide has a number of distinct crystalline forms polymorphs in addition to amorphous forms. With the exception of stichovite and fibrous silica, all of the crystalline forms involve tetrahedral silicon oxide units linked together by shared vertices in different arrangements. Silicon oxygen bond lengths vary between the different crystal forms, for example in alpha quartz the bond length is 161 pm, whereas in alpha tritomite it is in the range 154 to 171 pm. The COC angle also varies between a low value of 140 degrees in alpha tritomite, up to 180 degrees in beta tritomite. In alpha quartz, the COC angle is 144 degrees. Fibrous silica has a structure similar to that of silicon sulfide with chains of edge sharing silicon oxide tetrahedra. Stichovite, the higher pressure form, in contrast, has a rutile like structure where silicon is 6 coordinate. The density of stichovite is 4.287 g per cc, which compares to alpha quartz, the densest of the low pressure forms, which has a density of 2.648 g per cc. The difference in density can be ascribed to the increase in coordination as the six shortest CO bond lengths in stichovite four CO bond lengths of 176 pm and two others of 181 pm are greater than the CO bond length 161 pm in alpha quartz. The change in the coordination increases the ionicity of the CO bond. More importantly, any deviations from these standard parameters constitute microstructural differences or variations, which represent an approach to an amorphous, vitreous, or glassy solid. The only stable form under normal conditions is alpha quartz, in which crystalline silicon dioxide is usually encountered. In nature, impurities in crystalline alpha quartz can give rise to colors see list. The high temperature minerals, cristobalite and tritomite, have both lower densities and indices of refraction than quartz. Since the composition is identical, the reason for the discrepancies must be in the increased spacing in the high temperature minerals. As is common with many substances, the higher the temperature, the farther apart the atoms are, due to the increased vibration energy. The transformation from alpha quartz to beta quartz takes place abruptly at 573 degrees Celsius. Since the transformation is accompanied by a significant change in volume, it can easily induce fracturing of ceramics or rocks passing through this temperature limit. The high pressure minerals, cyphertite, stichovite, and cosite, though, have higher densities and indices of refraction than quartz. This is probably due to the intense compression of the atoms occurring during their formation, resulting in more condensed structure. Phogocyte silica is another form of crystalline silica. It is obtained by delumination of a low-sodium, ultra-stable Y-zeolite with combined acid and thermal treatment. 
The resulting product contains over 99% silica, and has high crystallinity and surface area over 800 square meters per gram. Fogocyte silica has very high thermal and acid stability. For example, it maintains a high degree of long-range molecular order or crystallinity even after boiling in concentrated hydrochloric acid. Molten silica exhibits several peculiar physical characteristics that are similar to those observed in liquid water. Negative temperature expansion, density maximum at temperatures approximately 5000 degrees Celsius, and a heat capacity minimum. Its density decreases from 2.08 grams per cc at 1950 degrees Celsius to 2.03 grams per cc at 2200 degrees Celsius. Molecular silicon oxide with a linear structure is produced when molecular silicon monoxide CO is condensed in an argon matrix cooled with helium along with oxygen atoms generated by microwave discharge. Dimeric silicon dioxide, silicon oxide, too has been prepared by reacting O2 with matrix isolated dimeric silicon monoxide, silicon oxide. In dimeric silicon dioxide there are two oxygen atoms bridging between the silicon atoms with an COC angle of 94 degrees and bond length of 164.6 pm and the terminal CO bond length is 150.2 pm. The CO bond length is 148.3 pm, which compares with the length of 161 pm in alpha quartz. The bond energy is estimated at 621.7 kJ per mole. Natural occurrence Geology Silica with the chemical formula silicon oxide is most commonly found in nature as quartz, which comprises more than 10% by mass of the Earth's crust. Quartz is the only polymorph of silica stable at the Earth's surface. Metastable occurrences of the high-pressure forms cosite and stichovite have been found around impact structures and associated with eclogites formed during ultra-high-pressure metamorphism. The high temperature forms of tritomite and cristobalite are known from silica rich volcanic rocks. In many parts of the world, silica is the major constituent of sand. Biology Even though it is poorly soluble, silica occurs in many plants. Plant materials with high silica phytolith content appear to be of importance to grazing animals, from chewing insects to ungulates. Silica accelerates tooth wear, and high levels of silica in plants frequently eaten by herbivores may have developed as a defense mechanism against predation. Silica is also the primary component of rice husk ash, which is used, for example, in filtration and cement manufacturing. For well over a billion years, silicification in and by cells has been common in the biological world. In the modern world it occurs in bacteria, single-celled organisms, plants, and animals, invertebrates and vertebrates. Prominent examples include tests or frustules, i.e. shells, of diatoms, radiolaria and testate amoebae. Silica phytoliths in the cells of many plants, including equistaceae, practically all grasses, and a wide range of dicotyledons. The spicules forming the skeleton of many sponges, crystalline minerals formed in the physiological environment often show exceptional physical properties e.g. strength, hardness, fracture toughness and tend to form hierarchical structures that exhibit microstructural order over a range of scales. The minerals are crystallized from an environment that is undersaturated with respect to silicon, and under conditions of neutral pH and low temperature 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Formation of the mineral may occur either within the cell wall of an organism, such as with phytoliths, or outside the cell wall, as typically happens with tests. Specific biochemical reactions exist for mineral deposition. Such reactions include those that involve lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates. It is unclear in what way silica is important in the nutrition of animals. This field of research is challenging because silica is ubiquitous and in most circumstances dissolves in trace quantities only. All the same it certainly does occur in the living body, leaving us with the problem that it is hard to create proper silica-free controls for purposes of research. This makes it difficult to be sure when the silica present has had operative beneficial effects, and when its presence is coincidental, or even harmful. 
The current consensus is that it certainly seems important in the growth, strength, and management of many connective tissues. This is true not only for hard connective tissues such as bone and tooth, but possibly in the biochemistry of the subcellular enzyme containing structures as well. Uses Structural use An estimated 95% of silicon dioxide produced is consumed in the construction industry, e.g. for the production of Portland cement. Silica, in the form of sand is used as the main ingredient in sand casting for the manufacture of metallic components in engineering and other applications. The high melting point of silica enables it to be used in such applications. Crystalline silica is used in hydraulic fracturing of formations which contain tight oil and shale gas. Precursor to glass and silicon Silica is the primary ingredient in the production of most glass. The glass transition temperature of pure silicon oxide is about 1475 K. When molten silicon dioxide silicon oxide is rapidly cooled, it does not crystallize, but solidifies as a glass. The structural geometry of silicon and oxygen in glass is similar to that in quartz and most other crystalline forms of silicon and oxygen with silicon surrounded by regular tetrahedra of oxygen centers. The difference between the glass and crystalline forms arises from the connectivity of the tetrahedral units, although there is no long-range periodicity in the glassy network ordering remains at length scales well beyond the CO bond length. One example of this ordering is the preference to form rings of six tetrahedra. Fumed silica Fumed silica also known as pyrogenic silica is a very fine particulate or colloidal form of silicon dioxide. It is prepared by burning silicon chloride in an oxygen-rich hydrogen flame to produce a smoke of silicon oxide. Silicon chloride plus 2H2 plus O2 silicon oxide plus 4HCl. The majority of optical fibers for telecommunication are also made from silica. It is a primary raw material for many ceramics such as earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. Silicon dioxide is used to produce elemental silicon. The process involves carbothermic reduction in an electric arc furnace. Silicon oxide plus 2CC plus 2CO. Food and pharmaceutical applications. Silica is a common additive in food production, where it is used primarily as a flow agent in powdered foods, or to absorb water in hygroscopic applications. It is used as an anti-caking agent in powdered foods such as spices and non-dairy coffee creamer. It is the primary component of diatomaceous earth. Colloidal silica is also used as a wine, beer, and juice fining agent. In pharmaceutical products, silica aids powder flow when tablets are formed. Personal care In cosmetics, it's useful for its light diffusing properties and natural absorbency. Hydrated silica is used in toothpaste as a heart abrasive to remove tooth plaque. Other Hydrophobic silica is used as a defomer component, in its capacity as a refractory, it is useful in fiber form as a high temperature thermal protection fabric, it is used as a thermal enhancement compound in the ground source heat pump industry, silica is used in the extraction of DNA and RNA due to its ability to bind to the nucleic acids under the presence of chocotropes, a silica based aerogel was used in the Stardust spacecraft to collect extraterrestrial particles, pure silica silicon dioxide, when cooled as fused used quartz into a glass with no true melting point, can be used as a glass fiber for fiberglass. Production Silicon dioxide is mostly obtained by mining, including sand mining and purification of quartz. Quartz is suitable for many purposes, while chemical processing is required to make a purer or otherwise more suitable e.g. more reactive or fine-grained product. Silica fume Silica fume is obtained as byproduct from hot processes like ferrosilicon production. It is less pure than fumed silica and should not be confused with that product. The production process, particle characteristics and fields of application of fumed silica are all different from those of silica fume. 
precipitated silica Precipitated silica or amorphous silica is produced by the acidification of solutions of sodium silicate. The gelatinous precipitate or silica gel, is first washed and then dehydrated to produce colorless microporous silica. The idealized equation involving a trisilicate and sulfuric acid is Sodium silicide O7 plus H2SO43 silicon oxide plus sodium sulfate plus H2O approximately 1 billion kg per year of silica were produced in this manner, mainly for use for polymer composites, tires and shoe soles. On microchips Thin films of silica grow spontaneously on silicon wafers via thermal oxidation, producing a very shallow layer of about 1 nm or 10 O of so-called native oxide. Higher temperatures and alternative environments are used to grow well-controlled layers of silicon dioxide on silicon, for example at temperatures between 600 and 1200 degrees Celsius, using so-called dry or wet oxidation with O2. C plus O2 silicon oxide or H2O, respectively. C plus 2 H2O silicon oxide plus 2 H2 The native oxide layer is beneficial in microelectronics, where it acts as electric insulator with high chemical stability. It can protect the silicon, store charge, block current, and even act as a controlled pathway to limit current flow. Laboratory or special methods from silicate esters. Many routes to silicon dioxide start with silicate esters, the best known being tetraethyl orthosilicate Simply heating TEOS at 680 to 730 degrees Celsius gives the dioxide C O C 2 H 5 4 silicon oxide plus 2 O C 2 H 5 2 Similarly TEOS combusts around 400 degrees Celsius C O C 2 H 5 4 plus 12 O 2 silicon oxide plus 10 H 2 O plus 8 C O 2 T E O S undergoes hydrolysis via the so-called Sol gel process. The course of the reaction and nature of the product are affected by catalysts, but the idealized equation is C O C 2 H 5 4 plus 2 H 2 O silicon oxide plus 4 H O C H 2 C H 3. Other methods. Being highly stable, silicon dioxide arises from many methods. Conceptually simple, but of little practical value, combustion of silane gives silicon dioxide. This reaction is analogous to the combustion of methane. Silicon hydride plus 2O2 silicon oxide plus 2H2O. However the chemical vapor deposition of silicon dioxide onto crystal surface from silane had been used using nitrogen as a carrier gas at 200 to 500 degrees Celsius. Chemical reactions Silica is converted to silicon by reduction with carbon. Fluorine reacts with silicon dioxide to form silicon fluoride and O2 whereas the other halogen gases Cl2, Bridge2, I2 are essentially unreactive. Silicon dioxide is attacked by hydrofluoric acid HF to produce hexafluorosilicic acid. Silicon oxide plus 6 HFH2 silicon fluoride plus 2 H2O HF is used to remove or pattern silicon dioxide in the semiconductor industry. Silicon dioxide acts as a lux flood acid, being able to react with bases under certain conditions. As it does not contain any hydrogen, it cannot act as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. While not soluble in water, some strong bases will react with glass and have to be stored in plastic bottles as a result. Silicon dioxide dissolves in hot concentrated alkali or fused hydroxide, as described in this idealized equation. Silicon oxide plus 2 NaOH sodium metasilicate plus H2O. Silicon dioxide will neutralize basic metal oxides, e.g., sodium oxide, potassium oxide, lead, 2 oxide, zinc oxide, or mixtures of oxides, forming silicates and glasses as the COC bonds in silica are broken successively. 
As an example the reaction of sodium oxide and silicon oxide can produce sodium orthosilicate, sodium silicate, and glasses, dependent on the proportions of reactants. 2 sodium oxide plus silicon oxide sodium silicate, sodium oxide plus silicon oxide sodium metasilicate, 0.25 to 0.8 sodium oxide plus silicon oxide glass. Examples of such glasses have commercial significance, e.g. soda lime glass, borosilicate glass, lead glass. In these glasses, silica is termed the network former or lattice former. The reaction is also used in blast furnaces to remove sand impurities in the ore by neutralization with calcium oxide, forming calcium silicate slag. Silicon dioxide reacts in heated reflux under dinitrogen with ethylene glycol and an alkali metal base to produce highly reactive pentacoordinate silicates which provide access to a wide variety of new silicon compounds. The silicates are essentially insoluble in all polar solvent except methanol. Silicon dioxide reacts with elemental silicon at high temperatures to produce CO. Silicon oxide plus C2CO. Water solubility The solubility of silicon dioxide in water strongly depends on its crystalline form and is 3 4 times higher for silica than quartz. As a function of temperature, it peaks around 340 degrees Celsius. This property is used to grow single crystals of quartz in a hydrothermal process where natural quartz is dissolved in superheated water in a pressure vessel that is cooler at the top. Crystals of 0.5 to 1 kg can be grown over a period of 1 to 2 months. These crystals are a source of very pure quartz for use in electronic applications. Health effects Silica ingested orally is essentially non-toxic, with an LD50 of 5,000 mg per kilogram, 5 grams per kilogram A 2008 study following subjects for 15 years found that higher levels of silica in water appeared to decrease the risk of dementia. An increase of 10 mg per day of silica in drinking water was associated with a decreased risk of dementia of 11%. Inhaling finely divided crystalline silica dust can lead to silicosis, bronchitis, or lung cancer, as the dust becomes lodged in the lungs and continuously irritates the tissue, reducing lung capacities. When fine silica particles are inhaled in large enough quantities such as through occupational exposure, it increases the risk of systemic autoimmune diseases such as lupus and rheumatoid arthritis compared to expected rates in the general population. Occupational hazard Silica is an occupational hazard for people who do sandblasting, or work with products that contain powdered crystalline silica. Amorphous silica, such as fumed silica, may cause irreversible lung damage in some cases, but is not associated with development of silicosis. Children, asthmatics of any age, those with allergies, and the elderly, all of whom have reduced lung capacity, can be affected in less time. Crystalline silica is an occupational hazard for those working with stone countertops, because the process of cutting and installing the countertops creates large amounts of airborne silica. Crystalline silica used in hydraulic fracturing presents a health hazard to workers. Pathophysiology In the body, crystalline silica particles do not dissolve over clinically relevant periods. Silica crystals inside the lungs can activate the NLRP3 inflammasome inside macrophages and dendritic cells and thereby result in production of interleukin, a highly pro-inflammatory cytokine in the immune system. Regulation Regulations restricting silica exposure, with respect to the silicosis hazard, specify that they are concerned only with silica, which is both crystalline and dust forming. In 2013, the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration reduced the exposure limit to 50 micrograms per cubic meter of air. Prior to 2013, it had allowed 100 micrograms per cubic meter and in construction workers even 250 micrograms per cubic meter. In 2013, OSHA also required green completion of fracked wells to reduce exposure to crystalline silica besides restricting the limit of exposure. Crystalline forms Silicon oxide, more so than almost any material, exists in many crystalline forms. 
These forms are called polymorphs. See also Mesoporous silica Silicon carbide References External links Tritomite, International Chemical Safety Card 0807 Quartz, International Chemical Safety Card 0808 Cristobalite, International Chemical Safety Card 0809 Amorphous, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Crystalline, as respirable dust, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Formation of silicon oxide layers in the semiconductor industry. LPCVD and PECVD method in comparison. Stress prevention. Quartz silicon oxide piezoelectric properties. Silica, silicon oxide, and water. Epidemiological evidence on the carcinogenicity of silica, factors in scientific judgment by C. Sutar and others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM, 97, 09 Scientific Opinion on the Health Effects of Airborne Silica by A. Pilkington and Others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM, 95, 08 The Toxic Effects of Silica by A. Seton and Others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM, 87 13 Structure of precipitated silica media related to silicon dioxide at Wikimedia Commons Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Silica. Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press.